Hello, my name is uh, Mohamed Abla. Uh, I'm uh, an Egyptian um, artist, mainly, and I'm a founder of uh, director of the Fayoum Art Center and uh, the Museum of uh, Caricature, the first museum of caricature in the Middle East. And this is all located in, uh, in Tunis village in Fayoum. And uh, since we started uh, now will be eight years ago with the uh, Fayoum Art Center. And my idea was, uh, I mean, because I had, I, I have, I had uh, the experience as uh, 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 teaching art in different countries. And uh, last was in Salzburg in the Summer Academy. So uh, from there I got the idea why not to do something like this in Egypt to bring young artists from different parts of the world and they can have the opportunity to live together, to cook, to exchange ideas and uh, to talk. And that for me was that's the only and the, the best way to do uh, communication, that the people live together and, uh, and exchange and also because the idea of our center that the people not sitting in a close uh, places, it's an open place and it's attached to uh, many different villages around and be, so for the artists uh, they have the opportunity to talk to local people, to uh, uh, artists from the area and uh, also we are not far from Cairo so in one and a half hour you can be in Cairo in the center so uh, for us it was uh, I mean, the place was ideal because you have the opportunity to be in a quiet place and in the meantime then you can move to Cairo if there is any event or uh, exhibition or, in, or music or something like that, even to, to, to see uh, <coughs> uh, uh, sightseeing or monuments, uh, pyramids, such things. So Fayoum was a choice to have the quiet place and not far from Cairo and also also to try to spread culture and uh, artistic ideas out of the center, out of Cairo. So really to influence the local people in such poor and uh, far areas. The place funded by me, by myself, I do the funding, uh, because of many reasons. One of the reasons I want to be independent. Second, I, I didn't have a, good experience was uh, with looking for fund even for people who came to offer fund N not good experience and made me made me nervous so I decided uh, I wait if somebody wants to help okay but uh, really we, uh, we never and I don't think I don't hope that we will accept any money funding uh, we if we accept funding we accept funding like somebody offer tickets or somebody offer material or equipment but we don't accept money. I do a kind of percent every year for my, my selling to, to support the center. So that sometimes we have uh, uh, problems but uh, till now uh, we did solve, we didn't stop any year, it's going every year. We work only six m m uh, weeks um, a year and we do uh, some weekends, but I hope that we could do in the future two times or three times a year, three sessions or four sessions a year. Our place is a huge, it's a big place, so we have <clears throat> the possibility for 20 people or more till 20 to 25 people every year that they can uh, be together, work together. We have different workshops. We have one place space for painting, one for sculpture, one for video, and one for printmaking. So there is different possibilities. <coughs> so we invite also teachers, I mean uh, masters from all over the world. We have uh, the opportunity to invite very important uh, uh, artists from all over the world, from different countries to teach or to give their experience. And our idea is uh, to have old experienced artists, young artists, and they uh, work together, but we are not teaching. 
in a way that we, we do it in a different because sometimes one of the young artists he has something to teach the whole group, even the masters. So it is a kind of uh, changing uh, experience. Me, myself, I believe very much how important is, is the dialogue between especially young people, especially artists. Uh, and also, uh, it's so effective that the, the artists from Europe, for example, when they uh, come, uh, they have stereotypes about people in Egypt and uh, fanatism and uh, such things. And when they come and they walk and they experience and they go to the shopping, to the market, so they come with completely different ideas. And we did experience this uh, many times. Uh, also, uh, we give the artists the opportunity to go in the surrounding. They make their own videos or uh, shooting photos or coming with sketches. And we try to integrate what we are doing with the local uh, surrounding with the people uh, in the surrounding and we invite uh, them because we have uh, a habit, I mean one of the, our habits that we uh, have every, every night a kind of uh, screening, uh, short films or films and we invite people from, from the area and sometimes having uh, very interesting discussions with, uh, with artists. And our uh, system is that every, uh, every morning we eat all together, we have breakfast and we have dinner together. So in the morning we eat together and we discuss about uh, the day and uh, uh, by having dinner we discuss how was the day. And so uh, this is also something like uh, we, we have a lot of discussions about our ideas and what we are doing. Exchanging experience, that's very important because what I see now, most of those organizations you told me about, are like islands, okay, they don't communicate and even they look to each other like, me, I'm from Ford Foundation, me, I'm from Anna, me, I'm from Anna. So you see that you are surrounding by people talking like this and this is, uh, and they close themselves on their, what they are doing and this is good. Mm -hmm. I don't think it is, uh, uh, it is uh, going to do uh, any further. And also, uh, for example, through the caricature, the cartoon museum we have, we have a kind of uh, association or group of the heads of the museum, caricature, cartoon museum, international. So we meet uh, once a year uh, or one, uh, or one every, every two years. But uh, So we talk about uh, problems of cartoons and uh, such thing. It should be something like this, a kind of meeting of the residency uh, mm -hmm. uh, directors or, or uh, founder. I am one of those who are writing the constitution now, so I force a lot to to promote art and uh, creativity and uh, independent uh, artists. So we did in our constitution uh, very positive uh, articles about uh, culture and art and such thing. Uh, of course, uh, artists, uh, it's not uh, something we benefit from that the artists will be supported uh, and protected. Uh, you have to uh, give the artist kind of protection and also to give them the possibility to interact. You, I don't want to protect the artist, or the, the, uh, but uh, you give them the possibility to... And this is what I... Uh, <clears throat> uh, you support artists, but in the meantime, they have to have the dialogue with, uh, with society. Uh, this society will never change without the interacting of uh, intellectuals and artists, uh, those, uh, that's what's going to change. But you don't need protection, but uh, you give possibility. And this is what we are trying to do in our constitution. It's not protecting, 
but it is opening doors.